Hey guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> 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 So this vlog is a trash vlog because I'm just starting out vlogging and this is my trip to the T-Cubed conference meeting the wonderful Squadratics for the first time. Me and these girls, you get to see some Dr. J, you get to see Stephanie Yee, you get to see Kathleen Zeta, you get to see Rory Yakubov, um, and just like what our experience was like. So come along on the journey. Hey. conference let me just tell you I took Southwest for the first time in my life and while you watch all this um TI swag happen I just need to say that Southwest is trash just like this vlog <laughs> um this whole not having a seat listen I need the security of knowing where I'm gonna sit and then the tr the train the plane that we were on was like absolutely ridiculous because both bathroom doors didn't lock and I walked in on not one but two people using the bathroom on the plane. It was tragic to say the least, okay? And then on the way home, I was the last person on the plane or the last person to get my seat, I should say, and I had to um, have this couple with a newborn baby move their baby so that I could sit down. It was I was traumatized, but you know what? My flight attendant was fine. So it kind of made it okay, but I will probably never fly Southwest again. <laughs> Y'all, uh, the stuff that we got at the TI conference was absolutely amazing. Um, they treated us so great, and I cannot wait to go next year again. So we basically ended this first day of going to a trivia contest, which we plan on winning next year. And then we went to bed. And so I'll go through a typical day at TI with you guys. So you can see what our mornings look like, getting ready, and some sessions and dinners. Hey, morning to Instagram. ready in our little bathroom so we shared a room and then Stephanie and Rory shared the room like right next door to us and Kathleen's telling me this hilarious story about how she caught one of her kids one time putting on concealer like in the middle of class like just the way that she looks right now and then blaming it on her because the kid used to sit in the corner hilarious okay so I will always make fun of Kathleen because she's always like her her winged eyeliner is absolutely perfect so her tips for getting perfect eyeliner tips guys is this do it since you were in high school <laughs> down the street to like around the corner to a Starbucks it was a two minute walk and it was easy and we needed to eat at least I need to eat in the morning so I was asking all the girls like what they thought of day one as they were stuffing their faces and we all were like yes we were ready but we were tired because we stayed up a little too late and that's why me and Kathleen were always making the whole game a little bit late specifically Kathleen <laughs> I'm enjoying my Starbucks right now. I'm excited for today. It should be good. Feeling good. That's, that's it. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. How are you feeling about today? I'm going to buy the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so, as she was saying, that she has to have merch. She's like, I have to. My stomach wakes up hungry, like cussing at me, like, hey, 
Alright, keep editing so <laughs> Guys, so this please do not judge my vlogger out. angles. I'm not I used really to this yet. It's my first now, one. So I promise I'll get better. But for now, please ignore the awkward angle that my face is at. So you're just gonna see a little bit more of some Starbucks footage. Um, I don't know why I put so much Starbucks footage in here. Maybe I thought it was necessary, but here we are. The same Starbucks every single day. Stephanie bringing over our food, and Stephanie's such a model. I mean, look at her. Look at this little head tilt that she does here in a second. Ah. <laughs> I am here for it. I was told to document oh my that I have a hoodie on. Yeah, I've been telling her, I'm like, yo, you guys put it on your head. And apparently it's my bun. <laughs> streets <laughs> we're gonna let you creep in on some of our sessions so this was our opening session on day one and then we went to all these rover sessions so if you follow along on instagram you've seen the rover like a thousand times so basically it's like a robot that's controlled by your calculator and you can run programs onto the rover from your calculator what I really loved about the rover was like it really made problem solving concrete. So if you're in a typical classroom like I am, the kids get a problem wrong and they have no reason to try to fix it, but the rover makes them see how they went wrong and it encourages you to want to figure it out. So we went to a thousand rover sessions and we were like not even mad about it. After the first one, we were absolutely hooked because the thing is just incredible okay so then we ran into tony and michelle they were our first instructors and we fell in love we're obsessed with them follow them on the twitter okay and they are the best and some great connections and we've already um talked to them asked them for help on stuff so definitely connect with those ladies maybe i'll figure out how to put their hands in the thing so this is more some, some more rover footage game rover that's a rory thing totally stole that from her i thought it was cute so we are uh our task here was to get the rover like from home to the library or from home to the post office or something like that so it took some trial and error but after a while kathleen and i got it and you like literally the way that we were freaking out it was like we had uh found the cure to cancer or something every time we made it do the right thing um but even when we didn't get it to do the right thing we were still having an absolute blast yes. everything from people saying that your smile is like your business card we had a teacher talk about how financial literacy should be in the curriculum at schools and I couldn't agree more um, and then this guy over here was rapping and then talking about the quadratic formula we had music and the Fibonacci sequence it was awesome the progression was great and at the end of it like this guy dropped his mic and rightfully so <laughs> Then uh, on another session, we met this lovely young lady, Mackenzie. She's on a table and she was a rock star. She was absolutely phenomenal. Mackenzie, you were the best. Hope to see you again next year.
totally kidding, of course, but these ladies, we were, this was the lunch crew right here, okay? So we would walk over, go get a little bite to eat so that we could go back and kill the rest of our sessions for the day. The city of Baltimore is friggin' beautiful, but we did not get to see any of it, uh, which was a bummer, but maybe next time I'm in Baltimore, I'll get to see a little bit of the town. Serious. So guys, it's day two. Um, I suck at being a vlogger. We found this out. <laughs> but we just went to lunch and we're going to another session and we're gonna learn more about coding because it's incredible. Oops. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> It would not be a trip with, with, me, with me without having a little bit of shenanigans in here. So here we are, alleging Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre, <laughs> Dr. J, um, into the Pi 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 sorority. She's officially an honorary squadratic. Um, and so if you want to be a part of the squad, the I can't talk, the um, quadratic Pi 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 sorority, Learn your quadratic formula. We will make you put your hand on a calculator, a TI calculator to be specific, and um, say the pledge. And you're in. That's it. 2020. We are accepting apps. Let us know. Doing her job over here for being for all the rest of the girls are like really being professional and being really solid human and being while I'm in the background, like being a total goober. Do you see? Why do people let me in front of cameras or give me mics or let me laugh? Like, I literally don't get it, but I just appreciate y'all so much for just being along for the Esther ride. I really don't know why you're here, but I'm here for it. So. <laughs> um, after that, some more of our shenanigans are that uh, Rory would frequently FaceTime me from across the wall and uh, I screen recorded it and she has no idea, but none of the sound would come off. You would totally hear her momming us. Hey guys, we gotta be ready at this time. We gotta be here. She's the best. If it was not for her, we would get nowhere, be anywhere on time. It would be a waste. Okay, serious conversation. We're on our way to our dinner portion of the day, okay? What makes a great Uber or Lyft? Please tell me in the comments below. Um, first of all, it's the Lyft for Esther. Um, Cause Uber's app kept kicking me out one time, so now I'm just done with them, number one. Number two, your car needs to smell like nothing. I didn't say your car needed to smell good, and it for darn sure doesn't need to smell bad I need your car to be completely neutral because too sweet makes me sick and then this guy's car smelled like smoke number three I need you not to talk that's an introvert thing I just need my ubers to be silent is that too much to ask lastly I need you to drive like a sane human being don't drive like my grandma don't drive like you're a formula one racer drive like a normal human being drive like my mother will hunt you down if I die at your hands because she will y'all we had the best dinners and that is like a staple for me when I go out um, out of town I love to eat at great places everywhere we picked was so good and so bougie and so yummy and I was about it. We just had a great time. Quaint 
Italian restaurant. It was so delicious. I got penne alla vodka, which is my staple at an Italian restaurant. Um, we hung out with all of the Instagram math queens over here. It was a genuinely great time. And we were upstairs laughing up a storm. I was super loud as I normally am. I'm trying not to apologize for being super loud anymore. If you got a newborn baby, I will not be loud next to your newborn baby. But embrace me and accept me for who I am. And part of that is me being obnoxious and loud. These girls were troopers. They were the best to hang out with. They want all the stuff, some of the stuff that like, I was like, yo, I want one of those, or I want one of those. We were just walking the streets of Baltimore, just having a grand old time. We were all in our own little world, in our own little bubble. It was great reminiscing about all of our Instagram shenanigans, like the Real Housewives of Mess. <laughs> um, some people think that I'm radical, but that's because you're square. That was mine back in the day. I asked the girls to explain the conference in one word, so here goes. Alright guys, everybody, one word to sum up the conference. Mathematical and magical. <laughs> Rover. <laughs> yes! Amazing. Okay. We missed our... Oh, we're, we're we missed our... Walking. Walking. Roverlicious. Roverlicious. <laughs> Ti, you need to um, <laughs> you need to trademark that roverlicious. <laughs> Be positive shirts on. You can't see them. You can't probably can't see them, but it's fine. Um, Picks where it didn't happen, so we'll show you later. And um, so yeah, we're excited, but sad because it's our last day. Okay, bye. <laughs> there was absolutely no better way than to end this conference with Dr. J. She slayed it. She killed it. She murdered it. It's six feet under casket just all the way done look at that skirt look at that shirt look at her owning the absolute stage she is the queen okay standing look at that standing over dr jones yeah go camille so y'all that wraps up the tq conference vlog look at all these adorable pictures there's a lot more pictures that we took but um for some reason my iCloud wasn't letting me get to all of them so enjoy these y'all um like subscribe comment tell me what i could do better because i know this was trash but i think i'm just gonna keep making trash vlogs until i find my niche that's kind of what i did with instagram so here we are um this trip was so fun I hope I get better at documenting things for you guys so that y'all can come along with the ride with me for whatever it is I'm doing. Um, again, pie, 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 taking pledges in 2020. I don't know why I keep saying that. You guys are the best. Thank you for being along with the ride. Share, like, subscribe, comment, all of those things that YouTubers tell you that you should do at the end of their videos. Thanks for coming along for the ride, guys. Love y'all. Later.